What is up my fellow Shield Brothers? Shield Brothers 6 here with another episode of What If Mondays. Just so you know, on Thursday there will be no video due to me having finals, but with that, let's get started with our episode of What If Mondays. So what if France did not sell the Louisiana Territory to America in 1803? So, if France had not sold Louisiana to the United States in 1803, it would have shortly lost the territory either through warfare or just unable to govern. There's no reason to think that the retention of Louisiana would have done anything to avert the collapse of the year-long Anglo-French peace inaugurated by the 1812 Treaty of Amiens. A France that was determined to become a global power directly competing with Britain in North America as well as in Europe might easily have triggered an earlier resumption of the war. It was far too late for France to become a major North American power, 40 years after the collapse of New France and 20 years after the emergence of the expansionist United States. The only question was whether Louisiana would pass to the United States or to the United Kingdom. It was Napoleon. It was Napoleon's genius to sell the territory to the United States, the country that was a strong rival to Britain and the least likely of the two to pose a threat to French interests. So, what would have happened if Napoleon had kept his agreement with Spain and refused to sell Louisiana to America? Would America have just taken it uh, through war? Um, the, the problem is, they were great allies at this time. However, eventually America's westward expansion is going to lead to a clash with the French over the territory. But will it lead to war? That will depend on who the US president is, when that happens, and who is leading France. It would have been interesting, for sure. Louisiana was in a bizarre situation. The nominal owner, uh, France at the time, had given up any plans for it, and they had also not paid the price for Spain for getting hold of it. Meanwhile, Spain was still running the place for the new owner, France. France was, wasn't going to fight for it, and Spain had limited ability or desire to fight for it. Would a young nation of America be so bold as to wage a war of naked aggression to take hold of New Orleans? The answer to that would be yes, but Spain would also lay claim to everything west of the Mississippi, as it was still New Spain at the time, and the US would have very limited legal claim to it. So if Napoleon had kept the deal with Spain, it could have led to a snowball of effects. Napoleon at the time, well, to understand the possibilities, we must consider what is going on in the world at the time. France and Britain are in the middle of a decades-long death struggle over dominance of Europe and the Mediterranean. Because of the vastly more effective French army, all of Britain's continental allies have been defeated and forced to come to terms, which leads to the war-weary British begging for such of a peace in 1802, which leads to the Treaty of Amiens, as I said earlier, being signed that March. The peace lasts for one year, which is how France manages to reach out to the Western Hemisphere for the abortive and very costly Haitian campaign, which ends in failure by the spring of 1803, with 20,000 French troops having died in the space of a year, mostly due to disease, and a total of 55,000 sent to Hispaniola, and the best estimate is 10,000 ever returned the French out, uh, out of all of that. The Anglo-French War begins again in May of 1803. Essentially due to the British action in seizing French merchant shipping in British waters beginning May 17th. In the meantime, the Louisiana Purchase Treaty had been negotiated and signed in April. The U.S. The US Senate had ratified the treaty over the summer and the U.S. took possession in October. And there's no really no point in the French trying to hold on to Louisiana. They could not deploy sufficient troops to take hold of Hispaniola in peacetime, with Britain that is, certainly not with the Haitians. So trying to hold Louisiana in the middle of war with Britain would be doomed to failure. In the meantime, they get 15 million dollars uh, worth of that time's currency in return for the title to a territory that they couldn't defend and which was barely inhabited, and whose inhabitants had no loyalty to Napoleon or revolutionary France. However, with that said, if Napoleon had seen the downfall coming for his French Empire and uh, used New France as a 
fallback, so, uh, so to speak, so that after his downfall and exile, he could flee to New France and establish an American empire. That could be an entirely different story. For if the Bourbons took over earlier through alliance with the British and unlucky Napoleon, the Royalist France uh, had paid Spain, then the War of 1812 could get very interesting. But besides that, if Napoleon had to flee, he could take a large majority of armed forces with him, and he could essentially colonize and hold New France, even expanding westward if he felt the need. And seeing how neither the American, the newly formed American states, or uh, this new French empire were very fond of Britain, they could unite into a Anglo-French empire of the Americas in order to wage war against the British powers in North America in, and the Atlantic. And this could get very interesting because ultimately they could unite to form a imperialistic and expansionist empire of the Americas. They could essentially take all of Canada and what is the United States now and form a French, an Anglo-French empire there. However, if this was not to succeed, if he had not sold and if he had not used that as a fallback, ultimately there would be war because ultimately the U.S. needs New Orleans. And more specifically, it needs access to the port there. And well, without New Orleans, Louisiana of the time was basically worthless. For Europeans at least. So in my opinion, if France had refused to sell it to the United States and would have eventually, the United States would eventually seize it by force. Almost certainly with tacit British consent and probably with Britain bankrolling part of it. Do remember that the actual purchase was paid for with the money borrowed from the Bank of England. In addition, with war between France and Britain either already going on or being imminent, depending on how the butterflies are falling, France could simply not defend it at all. It wouldn't be able to. And here you can see what the Louisiana Territory was. And this pink here is New Spain, the green was disputed, the red is British, and the blue was the United States at the time. So, like I said, the United States needs this, and there's no way for the French to hold it. So, there's two ways this scenario can go, like I said. They can either unite into an Anglo-French empire, or they can fight each other, and ultimately the United States would just... It would be very similar to our time period, except without the friendly relations between... France and America and the, li the lifelong friendship coming from this. So you can just see the United States t uh, steamroll westward as is usual in our time period with just mi minor if any skirmishes with France and Spain at the time. So that's how I really see this scenario going, although it would be very interesting to see what really could have happened since there's a lot of variables in this. Uh, so if you would like to tell me what you think could happen, you can leave that down in the comment section for me. And thank you so much for watching. This has been Shield Brother 6 with a very short but very interesting What If Monday. And if you like this content, go ahead and leave me a like. If you do not, leave me a dislike. And this has been Shield Brother 6, and as always, I'll catch y'all next time.